A senior at Mayo High School is ramping up her fight against heroin addiction. Colin Mayfield sat down with her uh, to talk to her about and find out why she is so dedicated to this cause. I saw the effects it did to my family and that it was a bigger problem in our community than just what was going on with my family. October 29, 2013. It's a day when life lost its luster for 18-year-old Hannah Gadd, the day she lost her uncle to a heroin overdose. The tragedy opened her eyes to the realities of addiction. The senior at Mail High School needed to do something, anything, to bring awareness to the growing epidemic. I saw the effects that suicide, the videos did in JCPS schools. My first couple years that started, I saw that it was a big impact on our students. Gad, who's also a Girl Scout, found a project to channel her feelings. With help from her troop, she created an award-winning documentary called Heroin, Drug of Sorrow, in honor of her late uncle. Last year, there's only 10 Girl Scout Go Awards in the state of Kentucky. And that just to go show that this is very important and how much scholarship you can just get just for doing a small community service project. Gad and her photographer spent more than 100 hours working their way around Jefferson County talking to both addicts and their families. Five families who have lost several loved ones and a professional viewpoint from several people throughout the metro community to help prevent this to other kids and want to make sure that no other family has to go through what they went through. The mission of the film is to spread the message that addiction can ruin lives and it can start early. It's a dose of reality for teens during such a transitional time. Principals have the option to deny my video and okay. say that this is not a problem in our schools. Gad says she'll even lobby the Kentucky legislature for her cause. Try to pass a law that says drug education is mandatory in all middle and high schools. Colin Mayfield, WLKY News. Gad also wants to take her message on the road saying she welcomes any schools or groups interested in her presentation to contact her. We've set up information on how to get in touch with her. Just go to WLKY.com.